ladies and gentlemen welcome back to service now 911 in our last video where we have discussed ci class manager we promised to bring you live demo of identification rule so here we are so if you have not watched this video service now cmdb class manager overview please watch it and then come to this video which will give you more in depth knowledge about ire rules so let's go focus on today's video this is our instance let's go to ci class manager so this is the hierarchy in this today we discuss about this table a tan load balancer partition click on it so let me open this table as well okay so this is the data in the table total five records so let's come back here this is basic information let's go to the identification rule so here you see i have added one rule that is independent and that rule is having identifier as name okay so click on it so this is how we select the attribute here name is selected you can add any other attribute as well but for today's demo we stick to this name only okay click on save in order to add the data in this table today we are using import sets okay so data is coming from outside there is one excel sheet where i have the data let me show you that excel sheet here this is the actual sheet ire demo you see at present these are the five records which are already there so let me add one more record 19 as a tech increase and same as windows and let me update uh, 13 to windows let me save this so now let's move to the transform map which we have created for here the very first one is the same let me open it so this is the transform map these are the fields and the main thing is this script this is the transform script that is on before let me open this one so you see in this script we have used cmdb transform util this is the out of box class which is used to let the system know that while we are transforming the data into these tables you have to use the ire rules so you see here under this we are activating the identify and reconcile engine okay so this is the small code which we use to specify that so now what will happen because of this script whenever the data move from import set table into the actual table it will go through the ire rules it will check on that table what is the attribute which is there for ire so it will find name and then based on name it will do the processing if the name is already present in the coming data then it will not create a new record rather it will update that record if there is any changes okay otherwise if the name is not there it will create a new record and if the record is the same it will not do anything it will just skip the update okay there will be no change so after invoking the ire rules here you see we have added certain logs so if our transform map has some error so we are giving the error logs here you see these are the error logs starting from snow 911 and in the part of else that is uh, the transform is successful in that case also we are specifying the simple logs to let you know that the record is updated created or there is no change in that record okay so just for understanding purpose we have added these logs otherwise uh, this is the simple script which you have to use and all these things will be available soon in our blog that is service now spectacular where you can copy and use all this properly okay so this is the script so now we have the source ready we have the transform map ready as well as we have the identification rules ready so it's time to test the data so let's uh, close this one okay so now let me open the data source to import the data this is the data source which i am talking about so here let me remove this particular file and attach the new file which i have already uh, updated in front of you let me add that one this is the one click on load all records run transform click on transform you see it is success so now let me reload this table you see as of now five records let me reload you see the records are increased to six it means there is a new record which is created that is 19 and if you remember i have updated 
the 13 one to windows the spelling is wrong here so <laughs> it will be visible properly to you okay so now so i think it is working as expected because it has checked for 13 it is already there so it just updated the category and 19 was not there so it has created a new record for 19 okay so now let me go and check the logs script logs you see for 13 you see updated and for all others you see no change and for 19 let me find out for 19 you see for 19 you have created CI okay so using these logs it is pretty much clear that how the IRE rules or IRE engine is working so just for testing purpose let me reload the same file and then check what will happen so now reload then transform transform so ideally all these records are already there so there will be no update in the data so now let me reload you see now also only six records are there it means there is no update okay everything is same because the data is same name is same so there will be no update so now let me check the logs one more time you see here logs no change no change no change no change. total six time we have no change it means it is completely working according to the IRE rules because all the names are there hence there is no update no change in the logs so I guess friends you understand how these identification rules are working and how we are using while moving data from different different sources we will go more in depth in coming videos stay tuned subscribe thank you so much bye bye